This is an extremely nice and extremely well kept Eagle Premier front living room here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Uh, this is a recent addition to our, well recent at the time of this filming anyway, to our consignment program. We sell RVs for folks just like they're one of our own. And what's nice about that is for you as a prospective buyer, nothing really changes. You know, we can still do hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery thing, everything between for you. Um, it's just a, another way to be able to expand our offerings and, and bring you folks more things to potentially uh, look at and consider. So, uh, this is uh, Michigan purchase, Michigan owned, um, so local to us. The reason I stress that is it's had almost no road use. That means that the chassis, the structure, it hasn't undergone harsh road stresses. It, uh, it was part kept. So other than just getting it to uh, the dealership and then getting it to their site and then here, it's never been on the road. So that's not a whole lot of driving considering we went from Northern Indiana to Southern Michigan and stayed there. Um, it weighs about 13,020 pounds. Um, and it is absolutely what I consider properly equipped for a unit of this size and caliber. Uh, in today's market, they call this a North Point, just to kind of give you a reference. The Eagle Premier was rebranded North Point around the 2016-ish season, so this took this was built right before that. But um, the, you can still see that the core of the products is the same. Uh, we've got, let, let's just start up front work around. We got this just brutal, awesome looking contoured uh, nose cap. It's fully automotive painted up here. It does have LED accents. I just simply failed to flip those on. You've got a more ride suspension and pin box, and that's going to give you a smoother ride for those that are towing or even when you're just getting it there. Now, if you don't have a truck and you just have a site like these folks, we can deliver it for you. We have the ability to do that. We'll give you quotes, no problem. Just depends on where you live. So this shocking, or pff, shocking's damps, damps shockening, oh my lord. Pff, this is a shock dampening pin box. It soaks up jolts and jumps, both forward to back three inches and then side to side an inch and a half. It's also generator prepped up here. So if you choose to add that, which we can do in our service center over here, you can see all these things leaving today. We can, uh, we can make that happen. Um, now, front living fifth wheels, they have reduced front storage capacity. Um, now, it looks not impressive on this side because this is your fully enclosed privatized docking center. On the other side, though, you can see there's still more than enough there. We've got a 10-gallon gas electric fast recharge water heater. Fast recharge means it can op operate both sides at the same time. This is also fully skirted. You'll see that the skirt actually wraps all the way around the frame wheels, and that's one of the actual or uh, the extra things that Jayco's done to achieve their extremely impressive uh, cold camp ratings. Now, the, being a Jayco dealer, I mean, we sell this product all the time. Um, one of the things I always mention to folks is you hear all about this four seasons stuff with people out there nowadays. Jayco was literally the first manufacturer to publish their cold camp testing data on every model that they uh, give its uh, the, the climate shield insulation package rating to. That would be their zero to 100 degree package. So brands can say whatever they want about our values, but Jayco actually publishes data. You know, when, they, uh, when it's um, zero degrees with the slides out in a cold chamber for 24 hours, this maintains 58 degrees in the underbelly. That's pretty good and it maintains like 62 in the cabin with slides out. That's another thing I found. Brands are not uh, testing their stuff with slides out. You know, you gotta watch that stuff. Slide awning toppers have been applied here. That is very awesome for around here in the Midwest where you can have falling debris. Plus, uh, if you're in an area that just gets brutal sunshine, it acts as just kind of a, an extra shade so that the top of your slides, uh, you know, aren't getting cooked like the rest of the coach. Now. Inside, outside, every side. This is extremely clean. My battery is blinking at me. I might have to splice video in a minute here. But look at the cleanliness of this. And you're going to see the same thing inside. The decals are still factory fresh. The skin is glistening. Inside, outside, it is in fantastic shape. This has dual uh, centralized air conditioning. Your main living room air is actually whisper quiet. So that'll be, depending on who you talk to, 70 to 90% quieter. And it is that impressive, it really is. If you've never been in one, think about that guys. The low number, the safe number is 70% quieter. That's huge. We got a, an accessory hitch on the back. That is not a towing hitch. That's an accessory hitch. It's not specifically reinforced for heavy towing. It's perfect for things like bike racks though. 
So you see the dual wrap over uh, roof line here, how the roof goes over the sidewall a little bit. It takes that seam from an area of high stress to low stress, and it's just a great longevity item. It also means that you have even insulation all the way across the radius of the roof because this has a double arched truss system, so it doesn't get thinner on the sides. Now, I've always preferred this front living layout personally for a lot of reasons, but the, one of the biggest ones is it has an unobstructed patio area and so many front living rooms have a big slide out right here and don't get me wrong there's advantages to it but I like to be outside um, but I tend to be more of a camper than an RVer and this is definitely in that RV category we've got electric leveling six point electric leveling on this so one touch it'll take care of all the heavy lifting for you and it has auto hitch height memory so getting hitched back up to this thing is just simple as pie Easy quad step because you do have a uh, you know a, a a big tall coach you're getting in and out of here, which is why we have the bigger handle. And also, if you are going to go biking or kayaking or just take a walk, you don't have to worry about losing or forgetting the keys because you have a, a combination deadbolt here. I'm going to go ahead and swap batteries. We'll meet you back inside. Just like the outside, the inside does not disappoint. Um, it is it is 100% cleaner than when it was first built. When these things first get shipped to the factories, there's always little construction particulate everywhere. It is in extremely nice shape. I mean, you can look around, you can see the cleanliness, the sheen, the shine, the feel. I mean, you can you can feel when something is clean. And, and that, that sounds silly, but you guys, you know what I mean by that. So we'll come back to the kitchen in a minute. I just wanted to stand back, and when you're coming out of the bathroom in the morning, this is what the view that you're gonna get here. But uh, this is the business end of the coach. This is your living area where you're gonna spend most of the time. And I love that they left this open. It's good prep, it's good serving space, and they put nice chunks of storage everywhere they could. They just didn't waste any of that. Now, right here, right when you walk in the door, you've got a handy little coat closet, and I like that your control panel's easily uh, accessed. I've seen some front living rooms where you actually have to kind of sneak between the slides to get to the control panel. Well, they don't have that problem here. Uh, beyond that, this is actually uh, one of the uh, early generations of, um, you know, wireless remote controls for, for things like the, uh, you know, the slides, the awning, the lights and all that. It, it's nice to be able to have that right there because I can, like, if you're standing here, it can be difficult to try to see into the bedroom to see if the slide outs are closing unobstructed to make sure you're not going to crush and break a drawer. Well, with this remote control, I can walk right back in that bedroom and I can line of sight that slide out to make sure nothing's going to get smashed and crashed, you know, without me being able to see it. So up front here, this is a critical thing. Um, I, I share the good, the bad, with the ugly. My job here is to be as unobjective as possible and to try to give you uh, the, the best information possible. So uh, with that in mind, I think it's kind of my duty to inform you that these are not hide -a beds A lot of people are going to assume that. And you're looking at it, you're going, what are you talking about? That's a big sofa. Well, if you look, it's not a full true sofa. This is actually the bottom of the slide out. So there's not enough room inside of that. What they did is by, uh, by eliminating like six inches of slide height on both sides, they drastically reduced the, the front pin weight of this coach. Um, it was a conscious decision they made to try to make this a little more towable. Um, you know, every year trucks seem to get stronger and every year manufacturers in the RV business get to make things bigger. Uh, at the time, this was kind of a necessary evil. Uh, that being said, it still sits very nicely. If you want to bring an extra chair, you can plop an extra chair here. That little uh, floating uh, cushion top ottoman there is great for a footrest. It has storage in it. Or you can kind of place it right here and it's a great little like grandkid guest chair. Now this is the lounge. This is where you're gonna spend most of your time and it definitely looks like that's where you know people spent most of their time. M makes sense, it's, it's the best seat in the house. Over here, it's just a, a generic, you know, um, inward facing seating arrangement, but this is a very social floor plan. It's very good for entertaining friends because everything is focused inward. All of our windows in your living area have the dual section shade so you can have all the light or privacy you want. All the windows open. All the windows are also fully framed out, which is something uh, a lot of manufacturers are only just now starting to do in luxury fifth wheels. You can see Jaco had been doing it for years huge entertainment center and what's cool is that tv can actually pivot out and that's the thing is a lot of people are going to look at this and say i don't want to sit in these chairs and have to give my neck a 90 degree crank to get to see that tv you don't have to the tv turns to face you 
That's the nice part about this floor plan. And this was one of the first front living rooms that did that. That's why it was always kind of had a sweet spot for me because I felt it was one of the best executed. Um, great storage for all your entertainment stuff on both sides, electric space heating fireplace. Great God, that's got to be like a 55 inch or something sharp HD up there. Now, uh, moving all the way to the front of the, the coach, where the ceiling is at its lowest possible point, against the wall where it's at its lowest point, and my head still doesn't touch the ceiling. It's close, but even at its lowest, the ceiling is like 6'3". Plenty of walk-in comfortable space and headroom in here. And remember, that double arch ceiling system that you're looking at means no insulation gaps on the side of the roof, uh, because most uh, fifth wheels... Um, if they don't have a system like this, it means that they have full insulation at the ceiling in the middle at the apex, but reduced on the sides because the trusses and the insulation gets thinner. No problem here. All countertops. All nice, solid surface here. And it's a it's a true solid surface where if you have to resurface it and buff it down, the pattern persists down through the countertop. Um the uh, the level change right here I like I like this little step level change. Now what's interesting is this is actually still part of the slide out, so the whole counter comes in and out. But look at all this storage. This is good storage. A lot of front living rooms simply lack. This is like I've always felt that this is one of the better front living room floor plans for extended use, full timing, whatever you want to call. It. Oh, I missed a drawer under the fridge. Now, big four-door gas electric uh, RV refrigerator. I prefer that both for traveling. And personally, I prefer it for park use because if, for people who don't live in it full time, like if you have your RV parked and then you come back every week or two, this is the fridge you want. Because if you lose power at the park while you're not there, that will kick over to gas mode and keep your, your food from spoiling. If you have an electric only, that battery's going to die in a heartbeat and you know, you're going to be out a lot of money and you're going to be getting to start your vacation with a lot of frustration. Big residential sized microwave up here. So you can put some big stuff in there for quick meals in a hurry. All of our cabinetry is pocket screwed. Jayco's been using lumber core, meaning real wood uh, cord cabinets for a long time in these. Hidden hinge cabinets too, so that when everything's closed, it's just got a nice clean seat. Actually, let me close everything so you can see just the, the aesthetics of this all nice and closed up. I just didn't want to miss the kitchen storage. Oh my gosh, a lot of storage in here. So right when you walk in the door, this is kind of what you're seeing right here. Nice, clean, simple, easy, but just terribly effective. And this is a deceptively big kitchen counter. On this video, you tend to only look at horizontal counter space, but look behind the stove. You've got like an extra, what, 12 inches back there. That's why we have appliance outlets, and that is a real backsplash, by the way. It's a full wall backsplash. Um, this means you can have all your appliances and things on the rear wall and still have all this beautiful prep space up here and then a nice little serving station, you know, so you can set the chips and the drinks and stuff up here when it's game day or whatever, whatever your journey is. Now, a little different, they went with a high top table. Um, just something different. They, they just wanted to kind of dress this up and position it a little differently. And here is your pantry. And that's something that a lot of people miss. If you leave these doors closed, you do not realize how much crazy pantry space you have. It's floor to ceiling, basically. Now, that is pretty tall. You're going to need a two-stepper to get there. But that's true of any fifth wheel, so that's not really a, a knock here. Now, um, I think I talked, yeah, I talked about the whisper quiet air outside, but check this out. You've got a wall-controlled fantastic fan. And because you have a radius roof and heat goes up, the, the heat, if you do any cooking inside, then, or, or even if you're just sitting here playing cards, people's bodies generate a ton of heat. That will go up, it'll get kind of collected at the top of the arch, and then you can just exhaust it with the fan, and you don't need to get the broom handle out to try to do that. That's nonsense. And I, I mentioned the broom handle because there are some RVs that you have to do that with. Thankfully, not nearly as common as they used to be. So one piece molded shower. You can't hurt it. You can jump, stomp up and down in this thing. It's not going to damage anything. You're going to have to have a Guinness World Record for uh, human height to try to bash your head in here. Now next to it, we've got a nice corner um, vanity center with a really big sink. And it's an oddly shaped countertop, but interestingly, it's actually really effective because these corners create these little pockets. You're gonna put like your toothbrush there, your shavers there, stuff like that. It, it actually works very well. Now, behind this porcelain foot flush stool here, we do have a nice dedicated linen space, but speaking of big storage, just like uh, in the kitchen, you know, this is long-term storage. This is like guest blankets. You're not gonna put your daily use stuff like your silverware up there. 
Now, for those of you who are interested in washer dryers, this is a full ready washer dryer stackable prepped closet. That being said, you can obviously use these adjustable shelves to convert this to however you want. Less than 2% of people ever uh, install a washer and dryer, and far less than that are ever happy they did. Um, if you're curious about that, we've done videos on that. Um, the uh, closets in this are, <laughs> are, are very large. I can literally sit in the closet of this. It's huge. Uh, so looking across from this, I'm actually in the wardrobe slide out talking to you right now. And it gives us a nice look at the big king bed slide out over here. Now, all the detail work went into this. So we do have a true 70 by 80 king bed. We've got our side windows for breeze over here. But look at this extra little long-term storage area that we have over here next to uh, the bed. That's behind the bathroom sink. That's beside the shower. It would normally be like a dead pocket of space, but they didn't want to leave it there. They opened it up and did something with it. And across from us, this is the last slide of the coach. This is a pure storage slide with your bedroom entertainment setup. And again, these closets are big enough. You saw that a grown person can actually sit in it, no problem. Um, this crazy amount of dresser space and organization here is fantastic. And that is something you will love for long-term use and ownership. Um, this is extremely nice. I'm not... I'm not jazzing this up. This is like a lot of times when you see an RV on camera, um, you, you look at pictures on a dealer's website like this or on Craigslist or whatever, and then you get there and it's dirty. None of that is true. This will look exactly like it looks on camera when you get here. It is that clean. There's nothing I've skipped over or withheld. I've gone out of my way to be blatantly honest about the condition of the, uh, like that they're not hide beds up front, you know, that you'll throw an air mattress on the floor. None of that, I mean, that little side, it just doesn't matter. You'll work your way around that. This is a, 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 a couple's coach, and it is a, a, a beautiful, very well-equipped piece that th the way that this coach is built and appointed is really still how fifth wheels are built and appointed today. So it's very current. You're getting a used price tag on it. And what's really sweet, guys, um, with our financing department, we can likely get you same as new RV financing on this used Jayco fifth wheel here at our Michigan RV dealership. So... All we need is the opportunity to uh, put some figures together on paper for you. We'll get you camping, and you'll have a good time. And like I said, if you need us to deliver it, if you have a trade, any of that, awesome. We welcome all those opportunities. We only do everything at Halet RV. Give us a chance to do our job. You won't be disappointed. 800-256-5196. Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.